Hey guys, welcome to the 10th video of my series on introduction to pandas and in this video I'm going to show how we can delete rows and columns from our data frame. So let us start by importing pandas as PD and I'm going to be using the IMDB data set as well as the bytes data set for some examples. So now first of all let us talk about how to delete um, columns, delete columns. So let us see how to delete columns first. So I will be using bikes data frame as an example. So bikes df dot head. If you try to do that, you will see that um, the unnamed colon and one. This particular column name is actually given if there is no specified column name for a given column. And as you can see, all the values of this column are this, right? So this is not conveying any information for us right now. So what we can do here is that we can remove this particular column from our data frame so that we get a bit cleaner data frame, right? So it will happen in a lot of cases where you will be working with different kind of data sets that you will have some columns which are of no use for you. So you would like to remove those columns from your data set so that you have less, um, you consume less memory, right? So let us see how to do that. So only thing that you have to do is bikesdf.drop. So drop is a function which can be used for dropping rows or the columns. So now let us see in which case we'll be able to drop the columns. So you will be able to drop the columns if you set the axis as one. So by default, the axis is zero, which means that you want to drop rows. But right now, in this case, I want to drop a complete column. So I will use the axis equal to um, one. So axis equal to one. Now, the first thing that I have to pass is the name of the column. So right now, my data frame has a lot of columns. So let us see what are their column names. So these are the columns names of my data frame. So let me use this one, the first one and put here. So what I have done so far is that I have used the drop function of my uh, data frame object in which I have specified the column name, which is unnamed colon space one. And then I specified the axis as one, which means that I want to drop a column. So let us run it. Look at that. The output that I'm getting does not contain the unnamed, um, unnamed one column. Right? So in this way, it got removed. But let me just try to see my head again. It still contains the unnamed one column. So what is happening? The thing which is happening is that when you simply call the drop function, it will not actually remove that particular column from your data frame. It will simply return a new data frame in which that particular column is removed. But if you want it to be removed actually in, from your data frame so that your data frame object gets modified, then you can just set in place equal to true. So let me do it the next line. Um, let me keep it like just like that. And let's move on to the next block and in place equal to true. So let us see what happens. Look at that. I did not get any output this time. And that makes sense because my bikes DF data frame actually got modified. So there is no point returning anything because actually my bikes DF dot head is now going to show me that it was removed, right? So basically we just said that you just make the changes in place right there into that particular data frame, which is calling this function. That's why. So bikes df dot head will give me a new data, give me my data frame with the unnamed one column removed. So this is how you remove the columns. Um, now let us talk about what if you want to remove multiple columns. So let us say I want to remove column number this, uh, this racial slash Papi new column and second and the third. Let's say I want to remove the first three columns of my data set. Then what I can do? So one thing to notice here is that um, the draw function will always take the column names. So if you just pass a list of column names, then it will remove all those columns. So bikes df dot columns is giving me these column names, right? So if in this I pass colon three, I will get the first three. But let's say um, this is quite easy, but let's say you want to have the first, third and the fifth column removed. Then what you can do is you can just pass one, three and five and you will get the first, third and fifth column. Now this particular behavior that is happening here is quite related to, um, it is quite related to what happens in NumPy. In NumPy, there is something called um, integer array indexing in which you pass any kind of integer array then what happens is that all those position at which these are matching only those values are kept. So right now in this case, what is happening? The index value one, three and five are kept like 
by stf dot columns the first which is very one right then the third which is this and the fifth one which is spark so these three are taken so now i can simply drop them from my table by doing bikes df dot drop in which i will pass this particular thing the columns to drop the columns to drop are the columns which are on the first position third position and the fifth position and axis equal to one so look at that um, belly one and other two are also removed from it right so this is a comprehensive uh, tutorial that i have given you right now about dropping uh, about removing columns and now let us come to removing rows let us talk about removing rows so right now in my imdb data set i have all these things right so let's say i want to remove the first row so if i want to remove the first row all i have to do is imdb underscore df dot drop again but right now i will not say axis equal to one because i want to remove a row and by default axis is zero so i do not need to pass any value of the axis if i want to remove any particular row so now what it takes is what the drop function takes for removing rows is the index of the rows and right now in our case the index indices are 0 1 2 3 4 and so on so let's say i want to remove the row with the index 0 so all i have to do is this and look at that the first row which has star rating 10.3 shashank redemption is removed so this is how you remove any particular row by just passing the index of that row now let's say you want to remove the row with the particular condition let's say so let's say we have a condition which is i want to remove only those rows which have the star rating less than 9 so let's say i want to remove um, some uh, less rated movies from my data data frame so ifdb df dot query which i explained in the last video i'm just gonna query and filter my data set star rating less than 9 so these are all the data uh, these are all the rows in which the star rating is less than 9 and then dot index let's see what happens i get the data i get the index values of all the movies which have star rating less than 9 right so now i have an ind i have the indices of all the movies that i want to remove so it's quite simple for me to do now i can simply do imdb underscore df dot drop in which i will pass this particular thing like this and yeah that's it so i've just passed the indices of all the rows that i want to remove and yes they'll be removed so look at that there were only four movies in my data set in which the star rating was greater than nine right so yeah this is how you drop rows so i hope the concept of dropping rows as well as the dropping columns is clear and if you still have doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching